Sabaidi. Today, I'm going to do a challenge. <laughs> I'm going to make Khao Piak Sen without using a knife. I ordered this from the FB market and it looks like it's going to be just perfect to make noodles, to cut the noodles without having to use a knife. So this is like a good tutorial for the kids. Okay, let's open it up. Boom. I know there's pasta cutters like this, but I haven't seen it and I haven't searched. This I just saw at um, the FB market, so I just bought it. Like it's the perfect size for noodles. Okay. okay, so let's make the noodles first. Easy way. I use a plastic bag. Put in the tapioca starch. I only do half a bag at a time. Yeah, it's easier that way. A bag of the tapioca and about half a bag of the rice flour. So you could finish it off at another time. I think this is a good size serving for three kids or just two servings for an adult. You wanna mix it. Now, the part where you have to be really careful is adding the water, okay? Could make a little well if you want. So it has to be boiling water for it to work. Okay, so I'm just going to pour it in, and it's about two to three cups. If you use gloves, it'll help you to not feel the hot boiling water, but I'm kind of used to it, so it's easy for me. I just want to go like that. Get the hot water in there. What are you doing, Michael? She does, she just watch, so I can make this. Okay, you need to add more water. Just go right ahead. <laughs> The flour all wet. Yeah. And Michael's watching because he likes to cook, right? Mm -hmm. And they 
I like to cook for Luca mm -hmm. and Tolai. Okay. Oh, you too, I can. Pick so instead of stuff. using your feet like Japanese people would do to make udon, I use my knee. Special. And I do. Special. You can use a uh, towel to help. Oh, can I can it with my Make sure you don't break the bag. Um, are you making like a special type of bread? Can I do it? Um, can I do it? Noodle. Noodle. But can I do it? Yeah. Once the okay. warm shiar and meat for a second, the really watered hit, you know, spam. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> I did it. Do you want to do it? Can I do it? Okay, my for your turn. Just don't break the bag. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Okay, just keep kneading it. It's going to come together. on the floor to help pushing it. So mommy, all I gotta do is uh put the flour inside there Put it in a bag and then mm. and put put it in this right and put hot water too. Do you put it in this after you open yeah. it? And then you put it in the lunch yard, right? Mm -hmm. And mommy, yes, and Michael, I know how to do it. Michael, and you need hot water to put mm -hmm. in that. I'm gonna do this one. Yeah. One step at a time, one step at a time. Yeah. Yeah. There's a chance that I can't make it. And there's a chance that I will make this. And you're on your own. Um, and you don't have... Well, I might, see, I might need some adult vision. Mm -hmm. Easy way. I didn't need adult vision. Because uh, one of... What if something went wrong? Like the flower got too mushy, it can't do anything. Uh, you can make a new one. Oh, and Muhammad oil, and this is the only flower. I really don't like kneading by hand. I'm gonna do it in my hand. Yeah. Knead by Hot. foot or knee. I'm gonna do my hand. You don't have to touch the bread. Mm -hmm. oh. It's hard work. Oh. So That's what I like to do with just my knees. But it's easier <laughs> when I'm not <laughs> trying to demonstrate it. Okay. Good enough. Me, you open my mouth. Okay. You could knead it some more to make it smoother <laughs> if you want. Go wash your hands. I'm going to go with my hands. Okay, good enough. Now the next part is to flatten it out, which I'm going to use a tortilla press. I'm a dancer. No, no. I'm in my... I want to do it. Can I squish it? 
Just demonstrating. Can you do it? So this is just the right thickness. Now we're going to use. Can I do this? that? Can I? Can wait, I do wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna set it up like that. And then. Mommy, I wanna do it. I'm gonna press it down. Okay, press down. Yeah. Press down. No, oh. not with this. With your hand. There you go. Easy cut noodles. Strike size. Can I? Can I? Can I? And what do we do after that? Okay. Do we just put it? I'm going to um, use the other one and put it together. That's a good idea to make it smaller, right? Yeah. I was thinking. You know, you can put it like that together. Did that work? So then it'll go through twice, but it'll be thinner. Yeah, we'll have to try that out. Okay, so that is my demonstration of this slicer using it as a noodle cutter. Okay, good.